Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I want to share with you my product review of Valsina Paris. And before I get started, I'm going to let you know that I did not purchase these products. They were sent. However, with that being said, I will always give you my honest opinion, no matter the circumstance. Um, I take reviews very seriously on YouTube. Whenever I'm watching somebody's review, I expect them to be honest with me because that's just kind of what YouTube's about. You know, you're supposed to be helping people and giving in tips and advice. And so anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm not sponsored with them or getting paid for this, but these I did not uh, purchase myself. But if you still want to figure out um, or see my reaction to these, because it is a skincare line, and as you guys know, I have really sensitive skin, then just keep watching. Okay, so to start off, Valsina Paris, um, they really hooked me up with some knowledge based by everything. So they gave me this little kind of handbook. Uh, this is their logo. If you can see it. Um, and then they also gave me a manual. So it was really nice because I was kind of unfamiliar. These come from France, uh, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I believe. Um, so I was really unfamiliar with all of the products and, um, you know, just more background on it. So basically what they strive for is they use a rose absolute oil or just rose base, whether it's rose uh, distilled water, anything like that. That's their secret ingredient. And um, they do not test on animals. And they have some skincare for men as well. I'm just trying to do the whole basic and then I'll get into individual products here. Um, also at the end of the video, I do have a clip of me doing some of these products on my face so you can see me actually using some of them. So I've been using these products for about two weeks now, two and a half weeks, and I wanted to get a really good kind of overall opinion because as you know, skincare takes a little while to notice some differences and notice some changes. And, uh, like I said, I have really sensitive skin, oily skin, so I was kind of nervous to try these because, um... Who knows if I was going to break out in hives or anything like that. But, okay, let's just get started. And we're going to get started with the makeup removal and cleansing. So, I'll kind of try and do it in order to each category. So, the first thing, this is a face scrub. This is what it looks like. Um, sorry, the lighting's kind of bad. This is your typical. It has microbeads in it, and it's just going to be a really nice exfoliant. Um, I put this on in the shower, or I just always have my, my face wet when I'm doing it. Put it on in the shower, or uh, just wash your face. Do this first, it'll really just break down your skin into a nice uh, surface for you. And just get all that nasty oil, all the gunk off your face. Then I go in with this cleansing milk. Now this stuff is awesome. Um, it comes out kind of like a lotion. Get my napkin ready. So it comes out kind of like a lotion, just like that. It's super smooth. These all have a very light, rosy scent. Um, but when you're putting everything on, it's so luxurious feeling because you just feel like you're in a spa. I don't know what it is about it, but I felt like I was in a spa um, the first time that I used this. Okay, then after that, this is optional. You could do this, you know, two times a week or once a week. I've done this once and I actually did it wrong. <laughs> so this is the uh, anti-age face mask. And you know, when I think of face masks, I think of green, like a green face mask, like the one I have from Borgesia. This is like another lotion type thing. And I just put this on my face and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and I, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. They also gave me these little guys, which you put in water and it becomes a face mask cloth, if that makes sense. And so it just looks like this. You put it in water, it becomes a face mask cloth. And I believe you're supposed to put this on your face and then put the cloth over it. That's what I think it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, so I just, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work. I'm still figuring out that one. But then this one is probably the most interesting thing out of everything. It's the uh, lotion, the face lotion. But this is not your typical face lotion. Oh, did you guys see that? So it comes out like a liquid. I don't know if you even saw it come out. Yeah, you saw it just drip. And then you rub it in your hands and then it becomes a lotion and you rub it all over your face. Um, it just really cleanses your face. This is the one, the one product I don't care for the smell though. It has that rosy smell, but there's some other scent in it that I'm just not fond of. But luckily that's not the last thing you put on your face, so it doesn't really bother me. And so now we're going to go to the day and night care. And it comes really easy. You have the white one as, or your clear one as your day, and the red one as your night cream. So this claims to be a multi-active Hydrant um, has intense moisturizing, excellent makeup base, and leaves skin soft and complete. So as you can see, I just got this film too. I've used this. I've used a healthy amount of this um, in the two weeks, but there's still so much in there. So I put this on after everything that you just saw at the beginning. 
uh, for the daytime. And then at the nighttime, you know, you'll do the same, but with this one. So these two I really like. They're very moisturizing. They're very soft. Um, and they leave a nice, they're not mattifying or anything like that, but they leave a really nice um, glow and hydration on your skin. Really like it. Okay, now we're going to move to Specific Care, which has got to be probably one of my favorite things. This is an eye roller ball. I've never used one of these before. Um, let's see your claims here. It says it's going to brighten and hydrate under the eye, reduce bags and dark circles, and has a genuine feeling of well-being. Everything that they say is just so soothing. That's why I just feel so relaxed whenever I'm doing this. Anyways, it has a metal ball at the end, and you shake it, and the product comes out, and you just do circle motions under your eyes. And I'm being completely honest. This I have noticed a difference with under my eyes. My eyes used to be really, really dark uh, without any makeup. And I think that's due to lack of hydration as well and just movement and circulation. And this has helped so much. Um, I do this right after my face lotion that I showed you. And you'll see these ones in the video as well. So it'll kind of help it because I know these are a lot of products. And um, I was kind of overwhelmed when everything came. I was like, I don't know where I use what and, you know, what goes after what. So... This is a roller, and this is probably my favorite product from this brand because I've noticed significant differences. Then we're going to go to these two. I have not um, been able to use long enough to give you some good information about it because these are anti-aging serums. I'm not really big on serums. I, If you guys saw my previous videos, I like to keep my face routine minimal um, and just kind of basic, just do my basics and then... Um, call it good. You know, I don't want to be putting a bunch of gunk on my face. However... With everything that I've been using over there that I've already shown you, my face has just been uh, probably should, just really clearing up and looking glowy and healthy and hydrated. Um, so I put these in not every single day or every single night, but every once in a while, like every three or four days. And I'm actually going to let my mom try one of these because they're kind of the same thing. They both prevent early signs of aging and tone your skin, and they do contain UV protectants in it. So... Don't have much to say about these, but they are just a typical serum. Um, I don't know why some of these don't have a pump. I, I don't know if that means you use them a different way. I, I don't know. I guess I still get kind of confused, but yeah, these ones don't have a pump. But yes, the serums. And now we're going to move on to the body softness. So this is a body scrub. And it's a nice exfoliant, like I showed you about the face one. It's just pretty much for your body. I use this in the shower, especially with my self-tanning now. Um, this helps so much. It really does get everything to get a nice clean base for your skin. And um, it does really exfoliate. And it has that really nice soft rose scent as well. Then this is the body lotion. I use this every single oops, day and or night. Um, I'm, <laughs> I've used a lot of it because I freaking love this stuff. Maybe I can show you. I don't have lotion on my arm yet because I wanted to try and show you the hydration it gives. It just leaves your skin looking so glowy and glossy. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can... You know, it just like makes it look so much healthier, too. I don't know if you can see that if I'm just crazy. But, yeah, that's what these two products are. They're just mainly focused on your body. I also did have a hand cream, but... Um, that one is in my purse, I think, which is my purse in my car. So it's the same thing as this, but smaller and for your hands. Okay, I think that's almost everything. The last thing I have to show you is they also sent a fragrance. This is the Rose Absolute Fragrance. Um, if you can't tell, I really like this stuff. It reminds me of something I used a little while back, but I don't, I can't put a name to it. But this basically, um, it's really, really fresh, fruity, and florally. So... I don't know a better way to describe it. You can definitely smell the rose, um, but it's just, it's so light and refreshing. It's definitely a summer, um, summer fragrance, and it can be used, it says it can be used for any age type, which I totally agree, because uh, it's just so light and fruity and feminine, very feminine, but... Yes, that is my review of the Valsina Paris products. I love them. I will put the link to them down below um, so you can check out their products as well. And even if you're not going to get these products, a really thing that I noticed that was super helpful was my skin really likes rose absolute or, or distilled rose water. Anything rose related, um, it's really good for sensitive skin. So even if you're just going to check that out in ingredients, but yeah, I suggest going to this website. They have a bunch of products. This was a healthy amount of the line, but that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I'm really loving it and I'm going to be so sad 
um, when I use everything up because then I'm going to have to buy it all over again. So thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Touching your skin and your hair falling slow When a goodbye kiss feels like this Don't you want to stay?